I don't know what my body fat percentage is, and I don't pay much attention to heart rate or oxygen uptake levels. I guess I'm more old school when I train. Easy means easy, hard means hard. I'm Marinda Carfrey, and I've won the Ironman World Championship Triathlon three times. To train for the World Championship, I swim 14 miles, run 55, and bike 280. It takes me about 35 hours. And I do that every week. I'm Tim O'Donnell. I'm a professional triathlete, and I'm married to Marinda. I've been on the podium and the top American twice at the Ironman World Championship. I've been close before, each time learning what it will take to win this race. In Kona, there's no more long training sessions, no more seven-hour bike rides or three-hour runs. We're faced with a grueling 140.6-mile race, and this one counts. This is about keeping the body moving and the mind focused for eight hours. Tim and I don't talk much the day before the race. I'm inside my head going over my plan. I know my competition and I want to beat them, but I can only control myself. The salt always hits me first. The water in Kona is super salty. It's great for buoyancy, but it can make your lips and mouth feel swollen. And if you don't properly lube up, your skin can chafe pretty bad. With a 112 mile bike to follow the swim, chafe is the last thing you want to be dealing with. I finished my swim in just over 48 minutes, but more importantly, I'm only 10 seconds behind the leader. My Trek bike is waiting for me, but so are the heat and the humidity. And don't forget the wind. It's hard to see, but we're often white knuckling your handlebars to keep from blowing over, which does happen. It also means you might forget to grab some fuel or hydration. The wind at Kona is devious because it evaporates your sweat quickly and tricks you into thinking you aren't losing too much fluid through sweat. But you are. And failure to maintain proper hydration almost always spells disaster. The marathon is where you see the ugly, epic meltdowns. The heat is all around you. Surging up at you from the asphalt, you're pounding with your feet. And after the bike, your legs feel like bricks for the first few miles. The run is when negative thoughts can start to creep in. Right now, I'm in 13th place off the bike, 22 minutes behind the leader. I'm telling myself I've run down double-digit deficits before. When your run is clicking, it takes on a rhythmic, almost light feeling. I need this to be one of those days. When I hit a rough patch during the run, my mind goes back to my time in the Navy. On my first day at the Naval Academy, I was given Teddy Roosevelt's The Man in the Arena and was ordered to memorize it. It stuck with me all these years and still drives me forward. It's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles. The credit belongs to the man who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust, and sweat, and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short, because there's no effort without error and shortcoming. And if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. I didn't win the 2016 Ironman World Championship Triathlon, but battled through some very dark times 
and fought off the field to finish in sixth place. Utterly spent, I wait to see if Rennie can do it again. I ran down 11 of the 12 women ahead of me. I wasn't able to catch the winner, Daniela Riff. She was on another level today, and she broke the course record. My record. So yeah, I've already got a new goal. We are absolutely wiped out but we couldn't miss the post-race party. Just competing at Kona is an amazing achievement, and being able to celebrate that with our fellow athletes is so gratifying. Kona is a magical place, and we're humbled to compete here every year. Now it's our time to relax and enjoy each other, because the next season comes around so quickly. When that time comes, we will be ready to give our all in pursuit of the ultimate prize. have to tell her necessarily a fairy tale about a prince rescuing a princess. Sometimes the princess is able to rescue herself. Pick a little, 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 pick